Hey, what's up everybody? It's another episode of VW Life, and today we're gonna go over 100 spares to keep in your Volkswagen. Oh, there are only 100 Magic Axe? And they seem like there's a lot more than that. There might be a few more. I think so. So guys and gals, uh, this is all things that we carry with us whenever we drive our Volkswagen buses. And it works for Beetles too, even Gia's. It's things that you need, things that we've learned from personal experience, things that have broke on us, things that go bad, things that uh, just fall off. Because we're dealing with stuff that's pretty old. So let's go over some of the things and see what we got today, Matt. Let's do it. Okay, everybody, so uh, I'm an old parts guy from way back, so I like to break things down in my spare kit by main category, and then we go to some sub stuff. So let's talk about the main categories first. Uh, front and rear axle, clutch and transmission, brakes, accelerator and carb, engine and generator, ignition system, electrical, and then some miscellaneous things. So we've got a lot of things here. Believe it or not, most of what you see on this a lot of these things we've experienced from uh, driving ourselves, driving these things for 20 years, and just seeing other people have issues with these. So I can give you personal experiences for how many of these things, oh my gosh, we needed that, or wow, you know. And each time, believe it or not, we actually add more stuff. It's just the way it goes. And we, You know, it's about being prepared. When you drive something as old as these things are, you want to enjoy it. You want to be stranded. You don't have to call a tow truck or Haggaders or something like that to come get you. You want to be able to fix this thing on the road and keep on going. That's what this is all about today. All right, so first and foremost, let's look at front and rear axle. So first thing I like is a, to carry is an axle boot. You're driving along, something comes up on the side of the road, a piece of trash t gashes your, your axle boot. You don't want to be stranded because you don't have a boot. You can put a new boot on and keep going down the road. Look at these uh, wheel bolts we have. I've got bus bolts and, we and beetle bolts. Notice the two different sizes. So that's an important thing right there. I carry these because if I've got friends that drive beetles, I even have a beetle too. Uh, as, uh, that also goes in line with our uh, axle nuts. We got large nuts and small nuts, both for buses and for beetles here too. Ask me how we know about that. We've got a spindle nut here. We've got the little uh, clip that holds the spindle nut in. This is like the, the lock washer style. A couple of different cotter pins, big nut cotter pins and a small nut cotter pins. Now I will say you can kind of start going crazy when you start looking at uh, your front bearings and seals. I've got basically for my main bus, my 65, I got a complete set of inner and outer bearings and seals. That's a good setup there for you. Let's move on over to our clutch and transmission. This is one area that probably a lot of people who drive an air-cooled Volkswagen have experienced a broken clutch cable before. I know I have at least several. I know Matt Jackson had one just not maybe less than a couple months ago. Um, first and foremost, your clutch cable. And you've got to be very careful because it depends on what you have, the difference in the length on the clutch cable. So make sure when you get your clutch cable, it's for your application for what you're driving. Ask me this right here. This is a big one. This is your wing nut for your clutch cable. How do I know that you should carry a spare one of those? Because one time my actual cable broke right here and this whole piece fell out on the highway somewhere, okay? We were stranded because we didn't have this. We had to finagle something. We were lucky we were able to have a, a pair of ice grips when we got us on down the road. But make sure you have a clutch cable and the nut. Let's look at a few other things in here. Uh, this is your coupler for your um, your transmission uh, sh uh, shifter cup rod. Uh, it also comes with a little bitty square head grub screws. These are very important. These should be safety wired in. They should be safety wired in a correct way. If you don't do that, they will actually back out and fall off. And when you lose your shifting, that can happen. Um, very odd things, but I've seen this happen before, not to me personally, but this is a, the arm on your clutch for your uh, arm on your clutch arm. So where your clutch cable goes through, that's something here. Uh, throw out bearing. If this thing goes off, you're not going to be able to shift, but you can pull your motor, change the clutch, uh, uh, throw out bearing, and you're on down the road again. I actually have a couple of extra clips for that. Here is a front clip going back to your clutch cable. You need to make sure you add one of these too, because I've seen these actually on some, th where there is nothing, this piece actually just wears out. 
Also, when you have this right now, go out and grease yours on your current vehicle right now. That's the way to do that. Um, this is some uh, another uh, small wing nut, a nut. That's just a nut for the uh, clutch cable there. Another on the upper, on the front of a bus, you have a shift rod coupler. This thing right here, probably not going to come off, but I have a spare one just in case. And this is the last one right here. We were in Taos one time on vacation. Jake and I were rolling, and believe it or not, this goes up on the clutch pedal. This little piece right here is where your clutch actually the pin goes through onto the pedal it goes like this this actually wore through we didn't have a spare but we were so fortunate that we were in a spot where there was a welding shop not right down the road where we coasted in and they were able to weld this back up for us now we carry a spare with us that carries you that's pretty much your clutch and transmission section right there for you Okay, everybody, well, let's keep going on on our uh, Volkswagen spares, what to have. Brakes, you know what? Not something that happens a lot. I have seen a couple of things. I, I highlight a few things here for you for sure. Uh, what we like to have, a, 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 a brake, the rubber brake line. Again, something, you know, act, weird things happen you're out on the road. If something jumps up and tears a hole in your uh, rubber brake line, we've got a spare here. Uh, we've got a couple of also metal lines. This is the one on the front of a bus. Uh, I've seen before where a, a, a brake shoe will rub this and uh, you could have an issue with that. Here's something that will definitely leave you stranded on the side of the road. This is your brake spring that goes up on your brake pedal. Um, th this uh, just break it hooks on and gives you a break it's a uh, it's tension and if this breaks the spring which I've seen happen very, uh, several times uh, you don't have any more brakes a few other items we have in here uh, possibly you can have a leaky uh, brakes uh, master cylinder switch if that leaks you're gonna or the, it fails on you you're gonna have a massive brake failure and all your brake fluids gonna be out speaking of brake fluid always carry some brake fluid by the way that's a good thing there we got several other little items here we got some uh, different size bleeder screws you can see some uh, clips to hold the brake hoses on springs for the um, brake shoes and a few other little items there we actually have a couple of springs for our, our brakes uh, uh, brakes as well uh, going a little bit further into things uh, we have also uh, on the front of a, of, a, of a split bus you have two uh, a left and a right size um, uh, uh, wheel cylinders we have those and we have a, a rear wheel cylinder as well and so that covers our brakes let's move over to uh, carburetor and uh, accelerator this is the one right here that probably has stranded more people on the side of a Volkswagen on the side of the road than anything and that is your accelerator cable and there is nothing in the world worse than breaking one of these and having to wait for two or three hours for a tow vehicle to come get you when all it was was a simple five minute fix and that's your accelerator cable Again, like with the clutch cable earlier, you need to make sure you get the one that's the correct length and with the right ends for your application because buses and beetles are all a little bit different size. But uh, make sure you get one. You know what? It's probably a good idea. Carry two because one else, you're going to be along with a buddy one day and he doesn't have one and you can take care of him. So accelerator cable is huge. But another one on that line too, just to make things a little simpler for you on that, are these barrel nuts. That's what connects the accelerator cable to your carb. And if you did lose this, well, you're gonna have to finagle something, but why finagle something when you have just a tiny little piece like that, it'll keep you on down the road. A few other items here, fuel filters. Um, yes, you could get some bad gas, or you could have <laughs> bad gas. We, believe me, how we experienced that really bad gas, or you could get the, your, some rust could break off into your tank or something like that. So, a few extra fuel filters along that line. We have uh, just an assortment of, of, of fuel hose clamps, always a good thing there, and some fuel hose too, different, a few different sizes and lengths. Uh, you know, you also need one going from your fuel pump up to the carb, and do not, don't, don't, don't forget that one line that goes from your gas tank to the metal line before it goes into your engine compartment. A few other little carburetor items we have in here too. Uh, here is a needle valve. Ask me how I know about needing one of those. That's a, a happened recently. We got a couple of different jets. Uh, uh, a idle jet and a main jet as well. And here's something that's kind of crazy, but a lot of people don't think about. Uh, I run a 30 pick one on mine, so it's a, that's a small neck on the intake manifold. But if you're ever in a, in, a, in a struggle somewhere, or you know somebody who may have a carburetor problem, I have an adapter so I could run a 34 if I had to, or somebody along the line. Yes, I know I'm a little crazy. I also carry a 30 pick one spare with me. So that's just one of the things we do. Um, along that line. One last thing, just a nice little kit 
that they make here uh, is your accelerator uh, uh, pedal kit with the little springs and uh, you can see it also has the rod and things like that so can these wear out yes they can I've seen that happen before hey guys if you like what you're seeing give us a thumbs up leave a comment if there's something we've missed or something you carry leave in the comments below it helps the channel subscribe if you're not subscribed and we'll keep making this stuff for you all right let's keep going on down the line here let's talk about engine well that's another thing sometimes we all have experienced maybe some little issues just last week i don't remember exactly who but i saw on instagram where they actually had a crank pulley fell on them the inside weld went bad on here we had not been at carrying a crank pulley with us we are now believe it or not this had failed and they were stranded well now we'll kind of carry a, a pulley with us besides that I, I would say there's a, probably a top three things that fail on a volkswagen when you're going down the road number one your accelerator cable number two your clutch cable number three your generator belt Obviously, if your generator belt breaks and you don't have a spare, you don't need to be driving because that right there will overheat your Volkswagen in a second. So please, as soon as you see that light come on, pull over and change the belt, okay? Carry, a, carry one, carry two, because that way if you've got a buddy that doesn't have one, you've got a spare for them too. Let's look at some other things we have on the engine. This is something right here that I have seen fail before. That's an oil pressure switch. If this fails, you're gonna have a massive oil leak. So carry a spare one of those. This is just plastic and phenolic. It could come apart real easily. We have a few other little things in here that along the line, we have a various assortment of oil cooler seals. Believe it or not, seen things like that happen before. We also have a few intake manifold gaskets and exhaust manifold gaskets in here also. And along with the uh, uh, with a, a step down stud and some donut gaskets too along the line of talking about that generator belt let's look at some things that I have seen fail before too and that is generator pulleys so we've got uh, uh, two different types of generator pulleys we got one for a 40 horse and then a, for the 12 uh, for the 1200 and then for the bigger one for the 1600s here's another item right here your shims okay if you have a generator pulley failure or something like that you might lose a shim always carry your eight shims with you along with the nut and your little washer as well what else could go wrong inside a uh, a generator that might stop it from charging for you well brushes so give you this extra set of brushes and also when you're carrying those brushes put it bring you put you a little set of springs in there and the screws that hold them down and look you can see that right there that's the little woodruff key okay always good to carry I actually carry two of those little woodruff keys those are the keys that hold the generator pulley on as well to the generator here's something that uh you know probably not gonna fail but you just is a good thing to have nonetheless it's a generator uh, uh stand clamp to hold your uh generator to the to the generator hold on a minute i've had that break no joke so good to have there you go so i knew there was a reason we had that in there thank you matt jackson yep so that's definitely something there okay everybody man thank you all again for joining us today let's talk about it, the ignition system uh of course you're not you're not going to run unless you have that the number one failure as far as your ignition system is and we just experienced this on our last trip and that was with a set of points where this little phenolic piece right here wore down and if it wears down you're not going to be able to your points will not be activated on the distributor shaft so if i've actually had this piece break before so carry a set of ignition points with you yes if you have an electronic ignition that's a good thing however those things fail you need to have everything ready for a backup so we have a set of points we have a nice condenser we have an ignition rotor we have a cap and we have a coil and a set of plugs along that same line i carry a complete distributor set ready to stab ready to go in it's got everything in it that it needs so if we have any issues we can go ahead and put this distributor in too all right talking about those experience things this is the distributor clamp that holds your distributor down to the into the to the uh, to the case are you ready for this i've seen these little pieces right here fail before all right it actually happened to jake and boomer one time again crazy things that happen when you drive these things you kind of start understanding a few things so that clamp's a good thing to carry with you here's another thing you might be able to see these these are the point screws goodness gracious you're out and it's cold and it's dark and you're changing your points and you lose one of these 
Better have a couple of these on hand because that way if it falls into the dirt, you're never going to find it again. So bring you a couple extra of those. Along the last thing on the ignition uh, is a nice uh, uh, old set of uh, spark plug wires. Hey, the next time you change your wires, if you're just regularly doing regular maintenance, they may still be okay. That's fine. Save those old ones. That's what all this is. These are not brand new ones. This isn't the last time I did a routine maintenance, and I just keep these these items so that way I have them for a nice spare. They still work fine, but I, as far as a tune-up, these will get you down the road and keep you from going and being stranded. That's for sure. Last but by not least, as far as one of our things is our electrical section here, a voltage regulator. Uh, of course, if you have an internal, if you're running an alternator, you won't be dealing with this, but this is you running a generator. Also, make sure if you're running a 12 volt or 6 volt, that's very important on that. A few other little items, of course. What, boy, how many times has somebody had an issue just because their, their fuses weren't working? Or they may, not, they may have had a little bit of a corrosion in there and they just had to spin that fuse. But fuses are a good thing to have for sure. Some wire, always a good thing just to have a little bit of extra wire in case you have to wire something. Yes, I always go overboard. I have an extra ignition switch with keys. And one thing on a bus that I have seen fail before and it gets really, really hot when it fails, and that's a headlight switch. So always think of that too. Oh, another thing to put in, pull yourself in some light bulbs. That's just a safety factor. All right, so make sure you got a few bulbs for your turn signals and your tail lights. That's a good thing too, as far as when you're carrying things along down the road. Last but not least, we, I just have a few things on our miscellaneous. If you can see in here, just some uh, six millimeter, eight millimeter, 10 millimeter bolts, nuts, washers, uh, a few things just throw in here occasionally because if you ever might, might need to fasten something together, uh, get something to keep you going down the road and everything. Well, that much covers all of the spares that we carry. One of the things that we always are thinking about is we are always updating these. So if you have something, as Matt said earlier, if you have something that you go, hey, y'all need that, please put it in the comments so we can add it because and we're gonna, this, is, this is something that's a very dynamic list. It's always changing. All right, one thing we forgot to mention was oil. You, you want to keep oil, at least one or two quarts. Um, Bowden tube, we didn't actually mention that. Um, you can also do accelerator cable, a zip ties, bailing wire, string tape. Uh, you've got some gasket maker over there, some clamps. And then another fun part is just finding some kind of way to store it all. If you have a beetle, you can put it in the back. Um, this all fits in a... In a Old vintage Samsonite. It, it gets quite heavy. I'll, I will say that this gets quite heavy if you do it this way, but you could fit in all this easily in a beetle. You have a little more room in a bus underneath the seat, but that's also part of the fun is just kind of keeping it in there. 